Go on then, kid. Go on then. How do? It's been a while, guys. Going to get back to me vlogging. I know a lot of people enjoy the uh, short videos up on the pit site talking about current topics and the like. So, let's just take a look at this, guys. Beautiful, peaceful up here. And the boy back in focus. So, where we at? Um, children, come on, laddo. Children who commit serious crime. If you're not from this country, we've just had... It's been in all the press, all over social media. We just had a young girl. Um, I haven't read about it. I tend to keep off the sort of media sites now. But very, very tragically, she was stabbed and died. I think they picked up four lads, aged 12 to 15. And one of them has now been... Uh, charged allegedly or whatever so I saw a post by one of my friends obviously people knife crime in this country hot topic at the minute um, put on his post about it you know needs to stamp down on this needs to be treated properly needs to send a message out and then I started reading the comments yeah, but mate, these are children. But mate, these are children. But mate, these are children. Yeah, they are children. I've worked with kids in care, sadly. One of them, 15, had been flashing for three years. He went on to be a rapist. At 15, I knew what he was going to become. You know, there's nothing for him, no counselling, no psychological input. He was just managed in a private care home. Was looked after, but you could see where he was coming from. At 15, he got the age of about 10, body of a man, and it was not going to end well. We've had other, other kids. Um, another really, really high profile case a good few years ago in this country. 10 year old lad was taken uh, by some two lads, slightly older than him. Did horrendous things to him and, and they killed him. A good friend of mine worked with one half of that duo. See, as I think they were 13 year olds, they were put into care, secure care. He said that lad was evil. Unmanageable, violent, assaultative. That is one of my words, you won't find it in the dictionary. Attacks on staff, verbal attacks, telling staff he was going to escape and what he would do to their children. Unspeakable things. That lad then became anonymous. In the system somewhere, he had been to prison. He turned up at Strange Ways not long before I left in reception. Someone recognised who he were from the name, not the name, sorry, from his file, and he got rid of him. They binned him, they wouldn't accept him. That lad should have been to prison and should probably be in prison now for a long time. There's all sorts of bollocks surrounding him about him being protected or monitored or supervised by probation. I'll tell you what it was, it was a political embarrassment because a child who'd murdered a younger child, wasn't a good person, as my mate described, was evil, continued to do bad things, but never went to prison for him. You know, can't let the public know that we failed, can we? That a child, yeah, has become, gone on to be a proper evil criminal. Absolutely tragic. So this case, what's going to happen, who knows? For me, this is only for me. Everyone knows what the problems are. Everyone quotes the figures. Nobody's got any solutions. 
yeah? See plenty of posts, social media and the like, people crying, sending too many young people to prison. Maybe we are. In prison, you know, youngsters being kept in solitary confinement 23 hours a day, not good for them. Maybe it's not. But knowing good people, <coughs> excuse me, who work with these sort of people, some of them are very violent. You know, juveniles, forget the 16 to 18 years old, some of them are super violent. They assault other juveniles, bad assaults. Staff are continuously getting assaulted. Again, the critics using too much restraint on these people. Well, what would you do? You know, ask yourselves that. You've got a 16, 17, 18 year old, yeah, who's violent, who's assaulting people. If you're not gonna restrain them, what are you gonna do? Because, you know, you can put your hand up. Oh, please calm down, it don't work. Yeah, back to schools, education. There's some actual, come on, this way, kid. Some absolute pants subjects being taught in schools right now. So I'll say again, two hours a week from their first year, let's start educating kids. Tell them how to look after themselves. Yeah, teach them to cook. Teach them about finances. Teach them about respect. Teach them about abuse, drugs, criminality, knife crime, eating disorders, social media. Start educating them. These generations now, you're not going to save. They're already in the teens, carrying knives, committing crimes. But at least, you know, we could make it better in the future, hopefully. Back to prison, what are you going to do with these people you don't want to lock up? These young people, these children. It's a very broad term, children. You know, look at my own daughter. She's never going to be carrying a knife. She's not going to be doing the sort of things that some people are doing. Whether it's cultural, poverty, lack of parenting, just someone who's bad. I met people who are just bad. Whatever it is, yeah, you can call them children, but you need solutions. You need to really start tackling this. The government, any government, they're all same politicians. Get your heads together. I'll be interested to see what happens in this case because at the end of the day, you've got a grieving family. You've got a city that's grieving. A lot of people from that city, it was Liverpool in this country, you know, I've seen it. They're upset about it. They don't want that sort of things casting a shadow over their city and why would you? It don't matter where it happens, you know, one, one life taken, it's horrendous. But you need solutions, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, got a little interview up tomorrow, talking about eating disorders. Obviously, my daughter, I've already said she's not well. Anorexia nervosa. I've got lots of people to interview on that subject. You know, if it helps one person, then all good. A um, couple of interviews up, one Friday, one Sunday, and I'm going to get up here and do these vlogs when I can. Next vlog, um, I'm going to put up Thursday. I'm going to talk about two children, teenagers, I got to know really well and looked after who committed a horrendous crime. Thanks for all the kind comments. Thanks for continued support. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, 12 month anniversary of channel in February. Lots of people to interview, working around family issues. All the very best to everyone. El City. Parting shot, as always. Good lad, come on then. Cheers guys.